was like the 60th run. Just gonna get nowhere. Wow! No way! I got it! I start recording and I got it! Bruh! No! Oh my god, I finally got it! Bruh! We bought a peep! Yo, shout out to your boy Marcus. I don't know your balance's name. Um, and Morgrim, he's like controlling them uh, both uh, double storm farming. Yo! Thank you so much, yo. I'm about to go to 66. Hey guys, what's up? It's James, and I'm here on James Storybreaker. About to hit you guys up with some of that fresh Myth, Peeve, Medusa, Orthrus, all that good stuff. Bassy. Finally completed my myth last night, got level 66, did a couple of matches, I only got myths and storms though, so low health people, but some of you guys were saying that um, Earthbreaker is just, you know, lore and savage, which I, I guess I can kind of agree, which is why I made a myth, because myth is full on strat, gonna go ahead and show you guys the gear really quick, um, the house of scales, hat, fresh, the fresh robe, which you guys saw in the intro, took me forever to get, shout out to your boy, who was double storm farming to help me get it. I don't know your balance's name, but um, once I find out, I'll give you a shout out in the um, next video when I find out. The crafted level 66 boots, really good. Give accuracy, damage, that 5 resist to make up for um, if you were going for level 30 PvP. Heart steal. Um, accuracy for ice, I guess, if you want to power a wand or a tower. And then that health and that block block is really needed for myth because myth block is low I think on the robe house the if you guys want to rock um the waterworks robe right here the um the block is really low 13 you you might get crit on even with the boots and a theme and everything else because the duelist of theme doesn't give block but the olefin story scimitar does so you you really might get crit on your max block will be about like 122 most of us will have like 200 and then and actually, when I get the Staff of the Flash and my Duelist of Thame, I will have over 200 critical. Because right now I only have 134. But, um, yeah, Olefin Story Scimitar you can craft from the guy in Zafaria, the lion that you guys know the crafting quest from. Um, yeah, 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 you craft it from him. The Life Mastery, everybody knows from the Crown Shop, or you can get it from Waterworks, I think. Uh, Izif's Ring of Preparation, you get this from um a dinosaur boss in the house of scales farmed like crazy so of course i was gonna get um a couple of these actually but i deleted them all because i didn't need them um if you don't if you don't get this if you don't get your house of scales ring you can always run the duelist ring or the winter tusk ring of courage you can craft this in vesterland um there's a guy sitting by a bridge that you have to cross to get to um the farm bosses that you farm for gold every day or every few days or whatever um he sells the ring so you can just pick it up go craft it it's really good um i socketed my pet so basically my myth giver is technically dealer um i know it doesn't show and it's kind of cheap that i had to use a gem but um the more damage the better and it, it, it has fairy on it so it's really good got that deck equipped with that um balance resist and this is a really good deck actually if you guys um run house of scales a lot and you get your deck there's actually an accuracy deck that i haven't gotten yet I th it, it might be only for balance or it might be universal i'm not completely sure but it gives one accuracy i mean in times when you're getting lore spam the one accuracy might be just that thing that's you know saves you from being screwed but uh 75 damage 38 resist across the board the 20 accuracy without Staff of Flash is, is a maze, uh, mainly because I socketed my Orlefin Story Scimitar with that accuracy, that fresh accuracy. Um, two armor piercing that comes from my two pierce gems I have in my ring and my theme. Um, 70 power pit percentage, I'm pretty sure that will raise when I get my Staff of Flash, definitely. And that needs to come up too, so that I can't um, fail pip often. 30 in and 6 out, that's really good for satyrs, and I can actually crit on satyrs. 
Well, I've crit on a Seder before, but it's, I mean, it's a really low chance, but, um, kind of pisses you off when your opponent isn't life and they crit a Seder. But I guess in this case, since, like, Myth is really low health, it comes in handy. Um, tournaments in the future, because I'm trying to get my Duelist of Thaman Ring, like I said before. Go check the tournaments real quick. Quick match, 1v1. I actually might do this. So, um, I am going to double upload today. So... For those of you that watch this early, comment down below if you guys want to see that tournament. I'm going to record it. If you guys want to upload it, let me know in the comment section below. The next video might go up. Um, what time is it right now? It's like it's 12 my time. I just woke up. So, tournament might go out, I'd say like 5 o'clock Eastern. So, let me know if you guys want to see a Myth PvP tourney. I'll upload that later today. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys in the first match and show you guys what I... Actually, no, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys my deck. Yeah, the deck. So we got stun blocks, tower shields, volcanic shield. You can go ahead and pause the video here if you guys want to copy it. If you guys do decide to go to level 66. Um, so Gantuans must have monstrous fairies. Um, I'll show you guys why I only have three fairies in a minute. But, there's Time of Legend... Those earthquakes, those, hum those humongous frogs for minions and stuff, and those earthquakes for minions and ice stacking, or not ice stacking, but blade stacking ices. Um, Medusa, in case they don't find stun blocks. Three golem puppets, and I'll show you guys why you, you're supposed to have three. Two talos for getting off stun blocks and just having a minion on the field. Um, two minotaur, four blades, because you need to pull a blade. Um, Myth has. Myth tends to have really low damage if you don't have a good pet, so you want to back up uh, uh, back up that loss for damage with the blades. Ninja Pigs, you don't have to have. Um, I got it on my first fight while doing the uh, main quest for Mushu. Um, it just popped up on the screen, and I was like, wow. Uh, Orthrus, Shatter, and this is where the strat comes in. You can actually summon a zero pit minion and sacrifice him for 400, and if you have really good um, incoming and outgoing, it can pretty much equal a Seder. Um, and if you crit on it, that's like 1.5 um, to you. So it's that's like really, really, really good. Stuns to get off myth dispels and stun blocks um, with Talos. Or just carry two to get off two stun blocks and then Medusa. And then follow up for that combo wombo. Um, troll. Troll spam is actually really good for myth. It's two pips and you can enchant it for like 400 base damage. And with a bubble up and an infile, you're doing a, a good like 700 damage. Myth Dispels for balances with Myth Mastery or life with Myth Mastery. Can't talk today. Um, infections and those reshuffles. You definitely need those, those infections for balances that want a critical avail and stuff. And then the TC, which I think is off. Hold on. Need one more. One more end file. And what am I missing? What am I missing? Calendar. Alright, so a rundown of the TC deck, Towers, Satyrs, Triage for those Ice, um, Frostbite Spammers, Basilisk, because you can't get Basilisk at level 66. Celestial Calendar is a, like, last resort kill move. If they have stun blocks up, you want to go for Celestial Calendar, just, like, Bubble, Blade, Infile, but make sure, like, you have your defenses up, like, Weakness and everything. Um, it's really, really, really good. Keeper of the Flame, you can actually combo, say you, you, you have a Lore Spammer, and he's Lore Spamming you, you can actually uh, use the weaknesses to your advantage, Dark Pact with your infile up so you can't fizzle with the Mantle, or Empower, and then you can follow up with that Keeper of the Flame with that Trap into the Celestial Calendar, or the Keeper of the Flame into the Basilisk, it does loads of damage. Or you could combo with the Right Illusionist if you don't have a Bubble Up, and they have a Tower on, and they Lore Spam you. You can use this, put that bubble up with your infile up so you don't fizzle the mantle, and then go straight into the Bassy or the Celestial Calendar since this is only two pips. Um, cleanse Charms for obvious reasons, and then Weakness if you have to, if you can't do anything and you pull a Weakness. It's really, really good. So that is basically the whole rundown of the Myth setup. I will be doing a tournament later today, so hopefully I can pull first, get those tickets, buy the Staff of the Flash, and we'll be set. And then I can get my Duelist of Thame later on, um, maybe like next week, and I'll, I'll upload that tournament. So, um, if you guys did stick around, that was a long intro, but I'm going to go ahead and get you guys in the first match. See you guys then. Alright guys, and we're back. If you guys didn't notice, I have my headset on, so if I sound more upfront, formal, that's good. 
Alright, we got your boy Tyler Death Hunter. We pulled first. Let's go ahead and unleash the strat. What is he? He is Death. Okay. Um, first turn. I don't want to get wanded, so let's go ahead and do this. If I tower, he'll probably wand. And is that the Skyrim hostile? Yes, it is, so we can crit on him. Death trap, okay. Um, enchant the pigs, get rid of Miltar. Um, not gonna golem puppet, not yet. Or golem minion, rather. I'm gonna go ahead and blade. Actually, no. Can I pull. Right, illusionist. Okay, let's 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 go ahead and minion. It's better than nothing, actually. But I do want to wait and see if he does have tower in his deck, which he probably does. I just want him to use it so I can write illusionist. Vampire. Another death trap. All right, this is what I meant by I was going against easy people or myths and storms, basically. Um, that many, like, too serious people, I guess. Um, I don't need to write Illusionist. I'm just gonna go ahead and put up a Myth Bubble. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Two Pip Glory. Hi, James. Nice pet. Molly Rose. Let's go ahead and pop that thanks. Dude, okay, he basically like death fueled me. Or is that faint? No. Wait, is, is that curse? Oh, yeah, it's curse. Alright, let's enchant that Medusa and shield. Because even though he probably is a high level and doesn't know what he's doing, he can still probably pull some. Pull something that I'm not aware of, and completely turn the tides. That's happened with like many people before. Don't be a skeletal dragon, dude. Oh, he fainted me. This actually isn't like the worst strat, to be honest. It's just, I don't know. I wouldn't take time to do all that now. I'm probably just gonna empower and take all that away. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I mean by strat also. It's just three fresh pips right there. Oh, Viz. Dr. Vaughn? Wow. Okay. Well, he's not critting on me, so I see this doing with the trap and his damage. I'm not sure if he has any pierce. Oh, yeah, he, he doesn't have any pierce because that, um, he has on the, uh, Skyrim Hosta. I see this doing maybe 700, 800. Oh my god. Okay. My math is way, way off. I just woke up a while ago, so. And my math is way off. Um, let's see. I want a myth fuel. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and blade. And follow up from there. Fizz again. Another death trap. All right, um, should we do? I'm feeling the, my feeling, feeling the keeper. You know what? I'm feeling mythic fuel into the Medusa. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Let's go ahead. 
Or, if, or if, if, if I can find Basilisk, then I'll do that. That's even better. Deathblade, probably. Yep. Right, I'm playing it, like, really unsafe right now, but, I mean, he is sort of a high level and doesn't know what to do, really. So, let's go ahead and give him that Medusa. If we fizzle, we're probably dead. Yeah, we're, pro we're probably dead. Can I pull a Basilisk? Actually. Mm. Novasi. No Vassy. We give him a deuce. Don't fizz! Nice, powered it. If we land, it, that's game. That's game. Oh my god. Medusa does way too much. And that was no infall either. Alright, uh, yeah, that's a GG. Alright, well, that was the first match. Hopefully next match we can get someone a little bit more serious. I'll see you guys in the second match. Alright, guys. What is up? We got Patrick Starr. I got this dude yesterday. <laughs> now I'm back facing him. And I'm not sure if I refilled my TC, but we go first. So, we got Strat on our side. Keep that stun in hand. I'm actually going to go ahead and chant the troll. Can we infall? Can we, can we infall? No infall. Um, okay, delete the stun, actually. If we can't do anything, then I'm just going to heal. I mean, not heal, the heck. Tower. <clears throat> okay, what's this? The tower as well. Or stun blocks. Yeah, stun blocks. If a storm gets stunned, it's over. Alrighty then. Um, don't need any of this. Come on, where is... Info, that's good. Infallible? Yep. He's about to go in. Stormlord. Alright, um, what can I do? I can troll, which is probably what I'm going to do if I can't find a mid blade. There we go. Okay, most likely Storm Lord. Lord, yep. No critical. <clears throat> I did decent damage. But he can't crit on me, and he only has one power pip. And we pulled ninja pigs. Let's go ahead and enchant that. And pass it up because we're stunned. Critical bolt? Well, I blocked, but. Wow, that was max bolt. Okay. Yeah, it's flipping crazy. Wow, I, d I just delete a set? Are you serious? <laughs> Let's heal. Yeah, that was crazy. Bolt again, probably. Oh, Kraken. This is doing a lot, like 1.3. Jesus. A bolt kills me. Alright, we have one more round left on the end file. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can smack him. Oh, I don't have any enchants in deck. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and ninja pigs. Ninja pigs and then like... Mm, yeah, just ninja pigs. Um, scored in for it. He failed pips, so we can't bolt. Critical land kills. Land, 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 land. Ah.
how much is it doing? Oh my god, that's GG. Oh, the set! Oh, I'm done! Oh my gosh, the complete set! Are you serious? The complete and utter set! No way, it's real! Oh man, I could keep her right now into like troll. Wow, okay, depending on what he does, if he bolts me for mid, I'm dead. Ah, uh, it's, I mean, it's good match either way. Like, what? Critical? No. Oh yeah, he got me. He's he's like level seventy though, so yeah, storm shark probably or bolt. Oh, my. land on yourself! No way! What? <laughs> what? Oh, that's crazy. Alright, that was the second match. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for a third one because that was really good. So, I'll see you guys in the third match. Alright, guys, we're back for the final round. We got Patrick Star again. Let's pull first. I know his strat this time. Pull first. Nope, pull second. Um, okay. So, at least I know what we're up against. And he does have Life Master. I did not see that the first time. Due to the infection, he, just, he doesn't heal. Um, first round, first round. Let's go ahead and actually Mythblade. Just delete the minion as well. Alright, infection. Yep. Alright, stun blocks. Those are good. Um, Minotaur, let's get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and put out those stun blocks of stun. Stun blocks on his behalf as well. Yep. Ooh, okay. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and Gollum Minion. Alright, so definite Lord next. And that minion's dead. I don't know why I just played it. That was kind of pointless. Alright, let's go ahead and Fairy to get this off and then see if we can pull a Seder. Yeah. Pull a Seder. No Seder. All right, well, we'll see if we can pull it next. Um, actually, I could calendar right now. That would do a decent amount of damage. But I'm gonna go ahead and fairy. So. Stormlord. Oh, Triton. So double Triton, probably. How much is this doing? It's doing a hell of a lot. Oh my god, 1.5? Oh wait, he, he can't double Triton. If he bolts for max, then that's game right there, I think. Can we pull a Seder? I need a Seder bad. Not pulling anything. Ah, uh, come on. Seder, Seder. Ah, uh, Celestial Calendar. Uh, I might got a Celestial Calendar right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. I have no other choice. Plus, I steal his pip, so. Oh, wow. Faint. If he gains a power pip, that's game. Or if I crit on him, that's game. Well, I do steal a pip, so... 
I don't know exactly what happens. Let's see what we're hitting them for. Oh, that's game. <laughs> Myth is overpowered. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was the uh, the three matches for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, tournament later. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section. Hopefully we can pull first or second, get those tickets and get the staff of the flash. We can increase our power pit percentage and our accuracy. Not that we need much accuracy. Myth has... I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. But, um... Yeah, that tournament will go up later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Long intro, there will be, you know, a little uh, skip button if you guys want to skip over. So, you guys might, might have or might have not used that. But, um, this has been the video for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe for more Myth PvP and PvP in general. And I'll see you guys in the next PvP video. Peace out!